Hi there and welcome back. In my break, I had a call from a guy by the name of Monaching and he had a question relating to my little snippet. So have we got him on the line? Hi there, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Oh, great. Okay, have you got your screen in front of you so you can see what I've got, have you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You said that sometimes the um, examination requires you not to take it to decimal digits, but to take it down into simpler, simpler third, form. third form. Okay, yes. and that's the problem that you're having. Yes. Okay, what you need to do is go back to what we call prime factorization. So if we just move to the side and we take 48, okay. what is the first prime number that you know that goes into 48? Two. Two, okay? Two goes in there, 24, okay? okay. And now what can go into 24? Uh, four. Four, that's not prime. What can go into 24 that's prime? Can two go in again? Yes. Okay, so two goes into 24 12 times. 12 times. What can go into 12? Another prime number yes, that can... number two. Still two. Okay, and that goes in six times. Yes. And two can go into six, six three times, hey? And lastly, three can go into three once. Okay. okay, so can you see that 48 is made up of two times two, which is four, two times two, which is four, and then three? Yes. So 48 is actually two squared times two squared times three. Yes. You with me? Yes. Now, when we square root something, do you agree, what is the square root of 2 squared? 2 squared is 4. Okay, and what's the square root of 2 squared? The square root of 2 squared. Mm-hmm. It's 4, 1, 4, 1. <laughs> no, 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 no. What's the square root of 2 squared? So, 2 squared is 4, and what's the square root of 4? Okay, let's go back. Yes. This is 4. So if we were square rooting 4, what's the square root of 4? Oh, the square root of 4 is mm -hmm. 8. No, no. The double, uh, double 4 is 8. 16, sorry. Okay. Let's come here. If I want to get the square root of 4, what is just the square root of 4? Of 4. The square root of 4. Have you got a calculator in front of you? Yes, it's what, 2. What's sorry. the square root of 4? 2. Two, exactly. Okay. So I am saying to you that 48 can actually be broken into 4 times 4 times 3. Okay. Yes. So if I'm going to root 48, that means that I can root 4, root and 4, four and, and root 3. three. You got it? Yes. Good. And what's the root of 4? That's 2. two. What's the root of 4? Two. That's 2. Excellent. Now you're pumping. Okay. So let's go back to where we were. We had 6 plus or minus the root of 48 over 2. Okay. Now you've said very nicely that the root of 48 oh, yeah. is actually going to be 4 root 3. Do you agree? Yes. Over 2. So but four. now that's still not simple enough. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to split it into 6 over 2, okay. because this is a common denominator, plus or minus 4 root 3 over 2. Now lastly, very quickly before we have to go, 6 over 2 is 3, and what can I do with 4 root 3 over 2? How can I simplify that? Uh, you can divide the 2 into the 4. And that goes? And two times. Two times. And then uh, cancel. And then I'm timesing by the root of three. three. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. Now, just to check that you're okay, if I gave you the root of 18, do you agree that 18 is nine times two? Yes. So, if I wanted to simplify root 18, I would take it as the nine. root of nine times the root Square of two. Of yeah. What's the root of nine? Three. Yes. And the root of 2 is still yeah. irrational. So now you can do those. Well done. Three times. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thanks very much. You call again, okay? Thank you. Right, thanks very much. Yeah. Um, of course, we'll be back with you on Monday, hoping to help with your problems. Bye now.